Hello, I am Seamus Dunahoo of EVE University, and this is episode 41 of How to Survive EVE Online. For reference, it's been about, mm, I guess 10, maybe 12 hours since I did my last recording, so some skills have trained in the meantime. Uh, as usual, always make sure uh, to slot in new skills as your skill queue drops below 24 hours. So I've got Electronics level 4 training, and then Galente level 4 will uh, start in after that. Uh, and this will end in about one day, 22 hours. <clears throat> Remember, the last skill you put in the queue is required to start within 24 hours. It's not required to end within 24 hours. Always make sure you click Apply. And close. Oh, and by this point, the Certificates button might be flashing obnoxiously at you. Uh, don't worry about it. Certificates are just merely bragging rights. Uh, I will explain certificates in a standalone video. Alright, let's get started on the next step of the advanced military chain, uh, which would be this agent over here. If you forget, you can go to the journal, um, agents, missions, right click from here. Weapon of choice, at least for the Galente. She's going to give you a civilian hobgoblin, and she wants you to destroy a pirate with it. Uh, so let's accept, and the built-in in-game tutorial will throw text at you about drones. Drones are my favorite weapon, but at uh, drones level 3, I really can't show them in all their full glory. Basically, drones are little flying turrets, and you can send them flying after your enemies and make them destroy your enemies while you are off uh, possibly uh, tractoring in wrecks and salvaging them. Drones that... some ships have bonuses to drone damage, like the Vexor class Galente Cruiser, Myrmidon class Galente Battlecruiser, Dominix class Galente Battleship. Anyway, before we undock, hit escape. You should familiarize yourself with the drones shortcuts. So the shortcuts tab, drone sub tab. And what we have here is all drones engage, all drones return in orbit, all drones return to drone bay. So F, Shift, Option R, and Shift R. I like to change these because I have a uh, Razer Naga gaming mouse, so I like to bind these to the buttons on the thumb grid, and as a Macintosh user, I have to make those buttons pretend that they're keyboard buttons. So one moment while I change these buttons, to these shortcuts, to my own personal preferences that aren't going to get me confused. Alright, I am all set. I'm going to undock. Now in my case, all drones engage is F9, all drones return in orbit is F15, all drones return to drone bay is F16. Now that you are in space, you have a drones window, because you have a drone in your drone bay. Let's right-click empty space, weapon of choice, encounter dead space, warp to location. Warp drive active. And I like to make this window tall simply because I've got ships that... On my main character, I have ships that can carry lots of drones, so... If you right-click on your civilian hobgoblin and show info, it only has the prerequisite of drones level 1, which you should have trained up. You can also organize drones into groups. Light Galente. Alright. Let me zoom out. Ah, there's the target. Control left click. You can either right-click the drone or right-click the group that you just created and select Launch Drones. This is the only way to launch drones. Uh, now I'm going to hit my shortcut key for all drones engage. In my case it's F9, but the default, if you didn't change it, should be F. The F key between D and G on your keyboard. At least if you're using a QWERTY keyboard. I don't know what it is on a Dvorak keyboard. So I've sent my drone. I just simply told my drone to attack the target, and my drone uh, did the fighting. 
I didn't have to worry about things like optimal range or tracking speed. All right. Uh, drones do have a control range. By default, it's 20 kilometers. You can't send a drone to attack something that's more than 20 kilometers away. You can extend that. Let me bookmark this wreck. And dock oven station. So the drone control range is 20 kilometers by default, but that is extended by... Let me open up the group window. Where's scout drone? Here we go. Scout drone operation. It is extended by five kilometers for every level of scout drone operation, and by three kilometers for every level of electronic warfare drone interfacing. If you were to get those two skills up to level five each, that would bring you up to 60 kilometers. It's also extended... Where are the drone upgrades? Here we go. It's also... requested. It's also Talking extended by 20 kilometers for every drone link augmenter that you have in a high slot on your ship. So right now, you're probably got limited to a drone control range of 20 kilometers, but you get scout drone operation level 5, electronic warfare drone interfacing level 5, and you're using a ship that has two drone link augmenters in the high slots, that brings your drone control range up to 100 kilometers. So you could send your drones to attack things that are quite a distance away from you, if you wanted to. Additionally, carriers and supercarriers get a bonus to their drone control range, but you're not likely to be flying capitals any time in the first year or two. Alright, talk to the agent, start conversation. And let's complete the mission. You may want to read the section on more about drones but I will also make a standalone video on that subject, if I remember. Hopefully I will. Maybe I'll make that the first one. Well, second one, right after fitting. Uh, before I let you go, uh, if you are going to be using drones seriously, the real drones, if you go cert if you take a look at the market for combat drones, light scout drones, and hobgoblins, those need scout drone operation. So if you're going to use actual drones, get the scout drone operation skillbook. The game does not give the tutorials do not give this one to you. Buy that and let's train. Let's inject that and train scout drone operation up. Level 3 would be good. Alright. Actually, let's have it. Scout drone operation level 1, electronics 4. I've already got engineering level 4, by the way. Then scout drone operations level 2 and 3. Alright. And yes, supply changes. Alright, in the next episode, we'll take on the next step of the advanced military chain. In the meantime, thank you for watching.